Hello again, we're doing some Hardy Weinberg practice and we're looking at cystic fibrosis this time, which they tell us right off the bat is inherited recessive disorders. So uh, I'm really not excited about using C's because it's so easy for them to look similar. I'm going to use F for fibrosis. So big F would be normal. CF is actually a recessive trait, so little f is the allele that causes cystic fibrosis and causes dangerous respiratory infections among Caucasians. About one in every 3,000 newborns is affected by this condition. So it's possible to be big F, big F, meaning you are fine big F, little f also means you're fine, but you're a carrier. And little f, little f means you have cystic fibrosis. This group is the ones they're talking about when they say 1 out of 3,000. Now that means 1 divided by 3,000, which is 0. 0.0003 3 repeating. Now, this is a bit of a nuisance. How many decimal places do you carry? Typically, the answer is because you're working on a calculator anyway and it doesn't mind carrying a gazillion decimal places, just carry as many as the machine is capable of. Don't round at all, but uh, I have to write something on the screen here, so I'm going to put... I'll put this many. <laughs> this is probably major overkill, but this will mean we don't get any round-off error in our answers. It's 0, 0.000 and then an endless string of threes. So that means our q-squared value is 0 0.000 and then an endless string of threes. If we want to know what just q is, we want to take the square off of this, so we square root both sides. The square and the square root cancel each other out, which is what we wanted. That leaves us with plain old q. And on the right side we get a number the calculator can give for us, the square root of point triple oh three 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 which I get as zero point zero one eight two five seven four that's probably enough okay so we have Q what do we find next this formula here tells us P and Q have to add up to one and the way we'd usually interpret that is it means that P is 1 minus Q. 1 is the total that we have to hit here, so take 1, subtract off whatever Q is covering, and whatever is left is what P has to cover. So 1 minus 0 0.0182574 gives me, I get for a P value, 0 0.98 one seven four two five I'll round that to two six. Okay, I think that's probably about enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal places. Okay, I can live with that. So these are our values for P and Q. This tells us if you just looked at chromosomes or alleles or sperm cells and eggs from this population, you'd find 98% of them, even a little more than that, are big F. They're the normal allele. And the defective one that causes cystic fibrosis happens almost 2% of the time. 1.82574% of the time. So, armed with that, we can find any of these terms that they want. This is a good time to actually check the question and see what we've been asked to find. Determine the frequency of the cystic fibrosis allele, meaning the little one, meaning Q, among Caucasians. Well, it's this much. This is the frequency, or if you want, you can multiply it by 100%, and you'll get 1.82%. Uh, they say to one decimal place. This is not a great request, given the numbers that we have, because if you take this number and give it to one decimal place, you'd get 0.0. .0 and you'd say, great news, no one has cystic fibrosis, which is obviously false. I think they must mean the percent frequency. So if you take 0 0.0182574 and you multiply it by 
you get 1.82574% for the frequency, and then you can round that to one decimal place and you get the very reasonable 1.8%. So I think that must be what they wanted. If somebody asks you to do something and there's two ways to take it and one of them is dumb, they probably meant the other one. So let's say 1.8% there. And there's more. What percentage of this population would be heterozygous carriers? Okay. Well, we know heterozygous means this group, and carriers also means you have the normal allele, but you also have the disease allele. So they're asking for the 2PQ group. Easy enough. 2 times P is 0 0.9817426. If this question looks different from the other ones we've been doing, it's because for the first time they're giving us kind of rough numbers. Up to now they've been kind of nice and our P's and Q's have been things like 0.4 and 0.6, stuff like that, where all the math was very easy and I could do a lot of it in my head. Really, that kind of thing shows that we're cooking the problems and real life problems are much more likely to look like this, where the numbers are not pretty and it's not really any harder, it's just a little tedious to write them out and you have to double check to make sure you're entering things correctly. So don't worry if a problem looks like this, really this is what you should expect to see. So go into the calculator two times, 0 0.9817426 times 0 0.018257426 times 0 0.9817426 five eight four eight one three five would be my frequency for the heterozygous group. You can multiply that by a hundred percent if you like and you'll get three point five eight four eight one three five percent and oh here they say round to the nearest whole percent so to the nearest whole number this is closer to four percent. So we could say something like 4% of this population is carrying the CF trait but does not actually have it. They're heterozygous.